For $600, you can buy a real life ray gun. And back in March, for your entertainment, I bought one. And nearly six months later, it's finally here. So let's unbox and share the experience together to see if this is really worth $600, as this is Call of Duty's first ever collectible. All right, so here we have the box for the Call of Duty ray gun. We're gonna unbox it. We've got this angle, and then we've got a bird's eye view angle, so we've got the perfect unboxing experience. So here we go. As we open the box, you can see on the front, it says ray gun, and then it says a number out of 2,000, which means there's only 2,000 of these in the world, which is kind of crazy. But let's get this thing open and see what we're rocking and rolling with. Ooh, okay, all right. So this massive logo, it says introducing the ray gun, a wonder weapon, zap, call of duty, and then call out season one. And then we have like this map stuff going on here, which actually is Caldera from Call of Duty Vanguard Warzone, which is a bit strange, but let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. All right, now we've got it out of the box. You can see the box has a beautiful image of what the ray gun's actually like. So let's go ahead, open it up. But very quickly, that's what the back of the box looks like. And then you've got more weird stuff on the sides of the box. Well, I mean, for an official ray gun, they've certainly packed it official, so we have some sort of stamp of authenticity, I think that is. Very interesting, we'll take a look at that in a moment. They have polystyrene this thing to high heaven. This thing is wrapped up so well, and for good reason, it's wrapped up like a box because, oh my God, there is an actual mystery box inside of the box. Now straight away, I'm seeing the ray gun, so let's go ahead and take that out because that is what people want to see. And it looks like it comes apart. So here we go, oh my God. There it is. This is the $700 ray gun. Look at the quality of that. That is incredible. I was expecting it to be really high quality for the price, but I think just the way that this thing glistens, the shine, the gloss, that is legit. Also got a few switches, which I don't think actually work. Some spinny dials as well. There's a trigger which you can't push. And then on the opposite side, we've got very similar details there. But I mean, this really looks the part. As far as I'm aware, some parts of it do come apart, but with, you know, that, that's actually just part of the design. And let's see here. Oh, there's an actual compartment for batteries. Oh, yo, all right, okay. Well, we're definitely gonna be seeing what this does once it's powered on. Now, let's look at something that is a bit of a surprise to see within this package, because I did not realize it came with this, is we have a real life mystery box. It is the real deal. This thing is weighty, it's heavy, it's detailed beautifully. If this thing lights up, it's gonna be a real treat. And then for our bird's eye view people, that's what it looks like. Okay, but if we go ahead and open the actual mystery box itself, I mean, it's a box, you can store stuff, but I see LED scripts, which means this thing will actually light up. That is incredible. Uh, so it looks like there's also batteries. Yep, we're gonna need some AAAs. But whilst we try and figure that out, let's take a look at least with what we get in here, because this is a certificate of authenticity, a stamp to prove that this is the real deal. And look, it's embossed here. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> it literally just says right there, Call of Duty certificate de authenticite the ray gun we are six of two thousand this is the sixth one ever made that's actually kind of cool i was not expecting to get the sixth one all right we have batteries ladies and gentlemen so let's pop them inside of the mystery box and let's see how it looks i'm actually really excited for this because if this is genuinely like as good as what we expect it to be then this is an absolute w oh Oh, yo. Overhead cam can see that. That is sick. It is properly illuminated. It doesn't make the sound, unfortunately, but that is still a really, really nice touch. All right, now let's put the batteries in the ray gun. And I feel, I feel terrible just disabling a ray gun, but that looks like a battery that we actually don't have. Shout out to the camera real quick. Yeah, that, this takes a very specific battery. I don't even know what size it is. That's not triple a it's not double a so ladies and gentlemen this ray gun actually does properly power on look at that that is absolutely beautiful and that looks like a proper authentic ray gun but in order to get this to happen you need to take this off which we worked out earlier but inside as we pointed out it's not actually a specific battery you need you need three of these cell batteries that you can get in most places but they were not included and it was not obvious at all that that's what you needed but you just needed them like that then obviously you've got this strong magnetic clip and then there's just this on and off button here that turns the blue light on and off, but 
with that light on that thing looks absolutely incredible so let's put this now on the mystery box with that light on and show you the finished final result okay so i sort of put the ray gun on wrong so there's actually two sticks you've got this one here that holds the sort of barrel of the ray gun then you've got this smaller one that holds it by where you would hold it so now if we fit that into its spot and then its handle there there you go that is how you hold the ray gun above the mystery box and this is how it looks the finished product that looks so good the contention people had with this when this was first announced was that there are some very talented artists on etsy and other websites that have created replica ray guns for years that look just as good as this one if not very close to being the same quality as this and those were in the like 100 to 200 dollar mark so the price point is definitely something which a lot of people are gonna have issues with and that is completely fine but my opinion on this is that the quality of this ray gun in terms of the fit and finish the styling the fact that there are like artistic scratches around the ray gun it really does feel like a movie quality prop and the fact it comes with this mystery box in the original mystery box style with the light up leds was a big surprise for me because with black ops 4 there was a chaos edition which came with a mystery box but that was the chaos mystery box and i think a lot of people would have been more excited if it was the original mystery box and so in a way this is the only way to get the official og mystery box from call of duty and activision through the ray gun now i also have some footage to show you the ray gun and the mystery box at night in complete pitch black with the leds on and as you can see the ray gun is pretty cool at night you can notice that some of that blue led light from the bulb does leak a little bit into the body of the ray gun so i don't know if that's a issue due to the paint being particularly thin at this part of the prop or if that was a stylistic choice but you can notice some bottom parts of the ray gun are lit up and here's a look at the mystery box led lit up in pitch black and it looks really nice as you would expect but is this worth $600 I think it really comes down to the perspective of the person you're asking if you're a diehard Call of Duty Zombies fan I think a lot of people would still want to get this regardless of the price but it is a really hard sell at that price tag so if anything I want this video to serve as a way for you to see what you would be getting with your hard-earned money and if you think it's worth it or not I'd love to know your thoughts about this in the comment section below and if you enjoyed the video let me know by dropping a thumbs up it's absolutely free and would help to recuperate the 700 dollars i spent just to make this video but with this being the first ever call of duty collectible and the ray gun specifically it really begs the question if call of duty have plans to make more props of other wonder weapons from call of duty zombies in the near future such as a real life wonder Waffer, a real life thunder gun i think that'd be really awesome to see but only time will tell